Most singers aspire to reach superstardom and bypass the route of like doing background vocals. Just talk about the benefits of you taking that path and, you know, soaking in pregame from the yep. trade, the networking opportunities and other business ventures that, you know, transpired as a result you of know, that. You know, I, if I could have written my own story, I would have never thought that it would end up like this and I would be a solo artist because originally I just wanted to do background. I was happy, content just doing background. And the pressure of being a solo artist, and the pressure of being out front is, is great for some people and some can handle it and some can't. I think that the path that I'm on in terms of starting out as a background singer, being able to work with greats and legends has taught me so much more than I would have learned just being put out there as a solo artist in the beginning. I'm able to ask, I was able to ask questions with Anita. I was able to watch her, her stage presence, how she interacts with the audience, how she handles certain things. With the OJs, I'm able to watch them. You know, they're legends in the business as well. And so I'm able to talk to them and get their perspective of how it was when they first started out as to them working now. They're in their late 70s, 80 years old, and they're still touring and doing shows. And then I have people like Kim, who he's been in 20 years, and I've been able to watch him from where he was when I first started with him to where he is now, and he's headlining and selling out shows. So being in the back doesn't necessarily mean you're always going to be in the back. I've just had a front row seat to learn some amazing techniques, some amazing skills, ask some amazing questions. It's just been really great.